Um, is this an ad for Capital Camus? I really can't tell. Let's go through some propositions. Okay, camera, go back to science class. You had to use technology to study the bugs and microbes and shit. So, this leaves us with an interesting predicament. I mean... We're getting told We're getting told that it's a legitimate illness that a citizen should hear voices. So what are those voices like um uh, the bugs and microbes that that you studied in science class. Hmm? But that would mean that they're applying tech there's applied technology that's measuring them. Or the entire proposition is a complete violation of the Religious Discrimination Act. Uh, are, they the vo- are they the voices of dog talking to you? You were created in the image of dog. Created in the image of dog. How come? Neither a psychiatrist intervention nor a detention at a psychiatric facility shows any technological proof that a brain is hearing voices. And how come when we go back to the latter days of Professor Einstein in his debate with Niels Bohr We ended up just watching fucking Quantum Leap. And all was quiet on the Western Front about what happened with subatomic quantum research. Now, that's the second alternative. The second alternative is that attempts to study the brain are the voices that people are hearing. You might want to think about that before going, I'll donate my body to medical science. (laughs) You might want to think about that a bit. Because if the doctrine of the Christian hell was uh, con- for concealing awareness of land right owners, investment class, underground, that every single religious motherfucker has just bundled the back of their brain into a bunch of fear-driven neurals pointed down at these investment class businessmen every night they sleep. So, Left. 
So that means what? Uh, does it mean the businesses are going well? Well, they don't know can't hurt them. <laughs> $3.8 billion a year in rebates on sedatives. The test subject's not responding very well <laughs> to pharmacy chain owners watching them fuck their partners through their own eye sockets. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's some hot shit there. Oh, 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 oh. So, the thing about these inbreds is that if you're working for them, they have very much roundabout ways of asking, is you in? See, they actually believe they're inbred. <laughs> So they're gonna think you're in just because you smiled at the fucking counter and sold some lipstick when you were 15. Does Roger Tall and Gary Cairns know that their study methods murder? Well, they believe in population culling and some of you believe in donating your body to medical science. You just didn't say when. Oh, when it's God's time, dog's time to call me back to the yard. <laughs> Is that what you think? Freemason. Step up, Freemason. See, I killed Capital Camus. Because inbred, inbreds think you're in without asking. Oh, it's a, it was like a UFO abduction. Yeah. The most news you're getting on uh, advancements in quantum physics uh, and fucking science fiction. <laughs> Oh, you think they stopped researching? All you need is a scenario where religious cunts didn't stop researching and never can until we stop them. Hmm? So who else wants to help kill capital chemists? And the funny thing is Oh, do they? Do, no, they're har it's a harmless process. You get that? You get to that level. You get to that fucking level, and they're going, "No, it's a harmless process." Because, oh, oh, they die. Oh, test subject, four hundred and fifty-eight died. Uh, because the Lord recalled them. <laughs> Wow. Well, there you go, children of dog. Think twice about donating your bloody body to medical fucking science. And I didn't. <laughs>